What's up, everybody? Calf Gear, and this video is going to be a little bit different. I've been waiting to make a fireball build that just pumps because I wanted to have all the right pieces. I really enjoy playing fireball. It's one of my favorite builds, and I'm so happy this is the best season fireball has been so far. So we're in a tier seven infernal hordes and a lot of my comments below were around you have all the mythic uniques you have all the uber stuff you have the best gear so i want to show this at its peak right here when i'm using shaco when i'm using Terrell's might and when i'm using ring of scarlet skies and then i want to show a wave without it and it's still pumps and i think it's one of the better builds where you don't have mythic uniques you really get the job done so let's just wow why did i get the worst choices right off the rip guys come on never pick spires because you don't want the spires to come out so never pick the spires that's bad news all right so i'm using fireball fireball is fantastic fireball enchant is in fantastic for regular mobs so elites not bosses obviously doesn't really do much on bosses when you're just farming regular mobs they have an extra chance to that immobilize because there's a high lucky hit chance and everything stands still when they're immobilized they also take extra damage from devouring blaze so my neck piece is going to have devouring blaze on it it's the best stat for the neck piece that you could get so this thing it, it, it pumps and then i'm super tanky because i have the damage reduction gear on and you could stand in a lot which is kind of cool too but you really want to stand about three characters a spaces away for to get the most effective bounces i like this build too because it's actually compared to lightning spear lightning spear is just mash all the buttons and you're gonna do great damage where this is you actually have to play a little bit and move around the map get in the right position to do more damage so that is why i i like this build a ton as well so you see that was pretty good i had some mills or crits for in the mil millions of around 25 million so then we're going to switch to this is actually more damage, but it's less tanky. And on this build, because it is a little bit harder to play, I kind of like the tanky version. So if you do have the gear, so now we have no mythics on in the build. And we're going to go through the build guide so you guys can see it. And I also have it in the link in the description. So I think like now, this is way more fun for me to play. Even if I'm doing tier 7 because it's a little bit easier. Yeah, I could do a tier 8. But it's just a little bit easier to do tier 7. Um, make sure I'm not dying or whatnot. So you could see the pumping and no mythics needed. You're getting big damage numbers. Big spike damage numbers out of a jam look at that you gotta move around you can't just stand there and cast your lightning spear button you actually gotta move around the map play a little smarter look at though we are blowing up the fiends that was the big dog look at him he just got blown up the hellborns just get blown up no mythics big damage and oh gosh that, that was just what was 30 mil i think i seen so that was a wave with no uber uniques on it is a little bit easier to play with them on this is the most damage i have been able to find in the fireball build i'm going to show you guys the build after we kill the bosses so i want to kill the boss real quick so uh fast forward to that all right so we don't have the mythic uniques on just the unique so let's see how fast we could kill these guys with just straight up uniques thicks just running around here making fireball bombs at them you can see the life chunking guys the life chunks we love it big bombs look at that he takes so much damage look at the overpower damage guys what is going on big damage when we have shield done big damage we'll get one down one down's easy boom there's one so now we can compare it let's compare it with putting on the gear so i'm, I'm changing mid fight for you guys change mid fight so it's 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 literally about the same damage you're just a little bit more tanky it's a little more survivability we like that too but i i don't know i think the other way might be more damage that god slayer crown does so much damage i know we get some crazy ranks to fireball on this build but man i think it pumps more the other way even with the attack speed difference it's crazy but like i said you could do it either way now you don't have to play 
Just mythic uniques. If you can't get them, if you can, that's great. If you can't, whatever. Zork's got a build for you, and it's fireball. Let's go. Fireball is fun. It works. It's strong. Oh, you know what we forgot to do too? I forgot to do this. So I use I use fireball when I'm fighting like the waves, but I would switch to ice blades. So let's like switch to ice blades here. You're gonna get a little bit more damage doing that too. A little pro tip. So if you want to just switch that real quick before you go in, you could do that. So you can see I'm going down nice, nice and easy. Nice and easy. All right, there he is. All right, you guys are good luck for me. I'm gonna get a triple GA here. Triple GA in the big chest. And then we'll go through the water. We'll go through a pit and then we'll go through the build. Triple GA, come on. Double, is it any good? It's not bad. All right, here's the pit. All right, 101 pit. I'm not even gonna show you guys tormented bosses because this build just destroys them. I don't even need to show you guys tormented bosses. It's so fast, but you can just see everything's just getting blown to pieces in this pit. This could do high level pits. If you want to run high level pits with this, you could. I don't see why anyone does. There's no rewards right now, <laughs> but it's all about farming the loot, man. It's farming the loot, get little upgrades to your builds. That's what I'm doing right now. And then finding out new builds to make. And that's what I like doing. So it's like one fireball. What the heck? I got frozen. One fireball kills everything. So it's pretty fantastic. I'll take a channeling shrine so I can teleport faster. Let's go. Everything dies, man. The burst, this is a burst damage build. This is big time burst damage. Over a long period of time, the Lightning Spear is going to do more damage. But this has a big burst potential. So I would be interested to try something like this in PvP. Because it is chunking and chunking fast. And I think that's going to be really good in PvP, right? So, it just melts. And like I said, it's fun to play, man. You're actually, like, I feel more like a sorcerer in this build. Than the lightning spear build even though i like it i like the lightning spear build i do like it i mean i'll take my time on this one we're at two minutes but hurry up kafka they're gonna call you slow in the comments they're gonna call you slow but we're talking whatever we're chatting this could probably do this pit in two minutes i would say probably about two minutes which is pretty quick guys why is this guy way over here all right let's see what boss we get and i don't mind fighting bosses with this build either it's actually not bad at all, especially when they stagger. Oh, yeah, look at that. He dies so quick. I didn't even get him to stagger. Oh, big Millie's at the end. Double GA ring. Give it to me. I love it. <gasps> what? That is a dang good ring. And you guys all seen it. Freaking sweet. All right, let me show you guys the build. I haven't even showed the build yet. All right, so let's look at a couple things. The stats were about 19K life over armor because i was showing you the difference between switching between non-uniques and uh well uniques and mythic uniques so you'd have to have armor on your pants because you're taking armor off the helm if you're taking off Jaco. that's why i have so much armor but the resistor high crit when i evade is 94 so i'm basically always critting crit damage is something you want to focus on in this build attack speed is good but you also got attack speed on the staff attack speed is actually really good in this build too so that's that Lucky hit is really good in this as well. So I'm at about 43% because lucky hit helps with the immobilize where you want to mobilize targets. So you do more damage plus you don't want to get hit. So we got the Shaco on or replacing this with the God Slayer crown. I want everything into cooldown here as well. I do like that it has damage to elites and 54% X damage, which is very nice. Everything should be in damage reduction. You can do two in a damage reduction and one into max all resist. I do like that as well. And then I do like glass cannon on the chest of Raymond. This item is the substitute if you don't have the mythic. And this is a lot easier to get. Gloves and Illuminator is from Gregor. And he is easy to farm. Living Steel is probably the easiest thing to get. You can also get them from Ice, Ice Beast as well. So there's a couple options of places you could actually get this. And then you have Pants. I am casting conjuration spells, so I do get 25%. I haven't played around with ice armor, the or the aspect of ice armor. That might be good too, but I'm using this for now. I do like want it. Warmth. Everyone yelled at me in the comments. It's warmth. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Serbian was my first language. Sometimes I see things differently. All right. So then uh, intelligence, maximum health, and armor. All right, got 
Asus Heirloom. These are fantastic. Thank you to Guess Who. Hook a brother up with these. These are 40% movement speed. Crit strike damage is, is key on here too. The movement speed is really good because you get the current bonus is 24%. And then when I click on that, it goes up to 39%, which is fantastic. So much crit, crit, crit. Love these boots, boots, boots. All right, so we got Staff Endless Rage. I got all the ranks into Fireball. 16 ranks to Fireball, and it's a 90%. What is up with this item? It is so good. All right, so Devouring Blaze. On the, I said this needs to be reworked. I don't need cooldown reduction twice. I don't need teleport cooldown reduction. This was what I was using in my teleport build, but I'd probably go straight ranks to Devouring Blaze to do even more damage. So I'll probably reset this soon and try to get that as soon as I stock up on the Ethereum. Also, this is going to be used for a meteor build I'm going to do. So make sure you like and subscribe because the meteor build is going to be good too. And you're going to want to see it. So thank you guys for all the love and support. We're on our way to 5k subs coming up. The imprint increased critical strike damage by 60% or doubled when they're when it's healthy. So against healthy targets, so you do big burst damage. That's part of why this is so good. And then we have storm swell on the the ring and man i really wanted the aspect of the dark dance to work every five seconds you do adx damage you take a little bit of health but i couldn't get it to work i don't know if the aspect's not working correctly because i did not see adx damage increase it should be huge numbers and it's not so someone comment down below have you used this aspect it was supposed to be in release of the season it didn't come out to this latest patch so i don't know if it's working you guys let me know if you guys know if it's working i tested it i didn't see a great difference with it so i'm leaving on storm swell on the ring for now i do like lucky hit chance to get vulnerable on the ring that is very good because you are not getting too many things that cast vulnerable so yes you have lightning spare you have ice blades but that is not hitting everything, and your fireballs have a very high lucky hit chance, so it's very good. And then Ring of Scarlet Skies, and then again, the substitute was Tal Rasha's, and the substitute for the Helm was Glad Slayer, and then Raymond of the Infinite is the substitute if you don't have the Mythic. So that is perfect. Skill Tree, man, this is the build that if I had more skill points, it would be even better. So I wish I had more skill points. We got these two just here. Fireball is the enchant. Pull that up so you can see it fireball and then this is if i'm fighting bosses and then fireball if i'm just fighting regular mobs that's the best way to do it from what i see so go back into it 34 ranks of fireball wild i could get more you could get a little bit more if i got if you got a ga ring of scarlet skies a g gloves illuminator and then that would give you probably another six or probably another four ranks actually if I put all the points into it, because my gloves illuminator does not have GA on it, but it's three percent less damage, which is very good. All right, so then you want elemental dominance, and you want so there's a couple things. So when you put on Shaco, I have points into here. You guys are gonna notice this is a little goofy. So I was I was putting on God Slayer count earlier, so I would need a point here. Now I don't need those points there, so I could put those back into something else. But once you, if you don't have the mythic units, you have to put points in there. So that's what I was showing you guys. So in the guide, I will put the end game version of it. Just know if you are using God Slayer, you, you don't have these two extra free points. So you'd have to take those and put them somewhere else. I like lucky hit. Oh, I would put it in lucky hit and then probably lightning. Oh, barrier, extra barrier. All right, so then you do want Shimmering Teleport, Lucky Hit Chance, you want Ice Blades. I just like this Enhanced li uh, Lightning Spear, so I get two. This helps with the Conjuration Mastery, since I got... Yeah, that's giving me six ranks, so that's 12 times, that's 13. So we're already getting like 20x damage having this, so... Because you're going to have three Conjures up at all times if you're pressing these buttons, which is good. Protection and Mana Shields, very good. You want to max out Devouring Blaze, Inner Flames, and Crippling Flames. Uh, these are all good notes, too. That's what I'm talking about, man. Like, I need... It would be nice if I could get Shimmering Ice Armor, so that's three points right there I wish I had. Max out Barrier would be so good. So there's, like, there's a lot of skill points you could use in this build that would make it a lot better. Fiery Surge, just one. And then Endurance Pyre and Soul Fire and Warmth. And then Asu's Ferocity. So, all right, going into the Paragon Tree, we're going to do this very quickly. 
We are going to get reinforced for the extra damage reduction, and it buffs our in rare nodes for non-physical damage. Uh, then we go into Burning Instinct, and I like buffing these nodes with Tactician because damage to burning, everything's going to be burning. Damage reduction from burning, everything's going to be burning. Damage reduction up here as well is very good. We have Enchanter in the Frigid Fate board. So you get that. And then this is this is where I was being a little sneaky. So then I went up, went here, and I got Elementalist, which is really good. So in the Enchantment Master, and then I went into Searing Heat. Didn't have to go all... A lot of times you have to go all the way across, right? So I went and got Searing Heat, got my uh, Pyromaniac, whatever it was. Got that, and then I went up here and I got my exploit, but then I came around after Frigid Fate, got my destruction, and came through, and then snuck in a little bit of pyromancy with the Searing Heat node. So that's how you could save a ton. Could you imagine just, you know, because before I would have had to come all the way down here, and that cost more points from going here to here. So I didn't have to do that and save some Paragon points in, in this run. So that is the board. That is the build. What do you guys think? Comment down below. I'm freaking loving Fireball, having a lot of fun with it. I think Meteors is going to be the next build next. Hopefully we have instant Meteors with cooldown reduction. I, I got to farm a lot in Ethereum. I'll just do it on this build to make sure I have enough to build that. But uh, again, thank you guys for watching. As always, like subscribe for more Kelpka videos, and I'll see you in the next video.